CTE is career and technical education. It's what I think everybody needs to have some of because regardless of what field you go into, the skills we develop in CTE classes are gonna help you. Every kid who's taken me as a high school class takes what's called Ag Science and Technology. And the basis for everything is soils. Learning about what makes a good piece of soil for growing crops, but also for having a garden. We have a class in forestry, how to measure trees, how to identify trees. Then we teach a class called outdoor recreation. There we learn about state park system. We've got a state park almost in walking distance from the school. In that class as well, I look at them and say, okay, if you were working for a recreation department, what skills might you need to know for that? So then we dive into turf grass, welding, electrical wiring, as well as running the greenhouse here at school. We also have a class called wildlife management. We learned a lot of animals related stuff, learned how to identify pelts, tracks, identifying trees, which also tied into forestry. Uh, you would have to know your different pines, your different oaks. Here in our ag classes, yes, we learn how to use the equipment, operate tractors, grow plants. We also learn public speaking skills. My favorite thing to do in her class is anything with like public speaking. Like one of my favorite competitions we've done is PolyPro. Parliamentary procedure is a CDE that you can do whenever you go to state convention and you basically conduct a mock meeting. It's very complex, it's very hard, and they call it the Super Bowl of CDEs. My team and I won in 2021. We were state champions, so I love parliamentary procedure. That's where they get an introduction to FFA. FFA, I have noticed, helps you reach out to a lot of people. And I've made a lot of friends with some, some I still keep in contact with, and some that just live straight up the road from me. The FFA program here is one of the oldest in the state. We were established in 1927. You learn a lot of things, not just with agriculture, but more with leadership in her program. Ms. McCannon really brought me out of my shell and I feel like I wouldn't be doing something that you work with people so much in if it wasn't for that. A lot of people at this school have a very small comfort zone. This program and FFA alone could really help boost people out of that comfort zone. Practically any career you can think of related to agriculture or not, we've had students who've come through this program and are successful because of being in here. If you want to get out of your comfort zone a little, it's a great program. It's a lot of new stuff that a lot of people probably wouldn't even think about. It's not just about agriculture. I think it's great to learn skills through this program, especially now that I'm a junior, you know, I'm thinking about colleges. I think that there's a lot of skills that I learned here that will help me in my college career in the future. I am actually enrolled in Piedmont Tech for the um, fall semester in 2023 to be a radiologist technician. Uh, after taking the ASVAB test, I found I have tested high in math and science. And when I went into more depth, I found out I had a 93 percentile rating for criminology, as well as a crime scene investigator. So I dug a little deeper and decided to follow that. The kids realize that I have high expectations for them. Doesn't matter what they're doing, they need to do their best. I've seen an improvement in their attitudes and their willingness to try new things and to try to succeed no matter what we're doing. And I think that's going to carry over with them wherever they go.